sparks. So, okay, I already have a video on my channel about waterproof drone, but there are still questions. And as I see in the comment, the topic is interesting, popular, so I decided to build a new one and show you step by step the whole process. We are not talking about the soldering or something like that. The main scene is the idea waterproof drone, right? Let's go, shall we? This process may not be interesting if you already have your own setup or, for example, you bought a ready-to-fly drone. In a nutshell, components. Frame from my previous waterproof drone, Apex frame, stack from T-Motor, FC and DAC. Everything is simple, right? Motors. Hmm, maybe for this build I would prefer 2306 motors, but I want to put 2207 1750 kV in this case, we'll see. Crossfire receiver, buzzer, maybe I will even install a GPS model, and the very important thing is the video transmitter codex Vista system. Why is this important? Because it is waterproof by itself, hmm? Hmm? Okay, now this is a pretty common process of assembling drone. The motors are installed. We installed the FC and EAC. Don't forget about the crossfire. Of course, in my case, you can have anything. Next, we solder the motors to the electronic speed control. As I said, the GPS model will not be accessible. Next, we solder the receiver step by step. Well, here we already see some result of our efforts. Next, I connect a drone to the computer and make some settings in the butterfly. And after, I have to tune in the peels. This process is quite long and can even be a little bit boring. I will leave the link in the description to the video on the Rotorite channel. The entire process of peels tuning is very well described there. Okay, now we are going the process of building a waterproof drone. And the first thing we do is disassembling the drone. It is obvious that this process doesn't need a detailed description. Everything is the same as with the sample, only the other way around. What we should do now? I use Brandon's FPU or free silicon. Okay, now we have to cover all exposed naked electronics with silicon to keep water out. We cover the EAC on both sides. By the way, pay attention to which EAC I choose without any radiator, so something. Next, we cover FC. We do all this very carefully. Uh -huh. One very interesting thing that we noticed when we made the previous waterproof drone for my friend Camille. If you want to use the GPS, you need to leave the hole for the barometer. Then everything will work correctly. We also do this with the receiver. And yes, as I said, the Vista is waterproof, but we also have to cover the soldering point with the silicone. Well, to be sure, the place where the wire is connected to the camera as well. We let it all dry for a few hours and later assemble it again. And then it's a time for the real test. Honestly, I haven't had time to test this drone, but I trust myself and here we are in Sardinia, Italy, and we have to find out what it is capable of. Okay, but first a couple of words. I want to draw a parallel with cars. This is our BMW for a few next day, but this drone rather like, uh, but this drone rather like this Citroën. Uh, all this word Apex frame and the uh, old VTX system, thank God it's not analog and very simple electronics, but it should be a lot of fun. Let's go, let's do it. It works! 
And as I said, it is a lot of fun because I'm lost single under the water. Okay, everything works well, but you guys have to understand there are no guarantees that it won't sink. One that is, I didn't mention when I assembled the drone because I didn't know that in that moment. Uh, it is better to cover the silicone camera as well. I also want to share one trick. When the drone is under the water, you should turn on the horizon mode, then it remains in that position. Thank you for spending time watching my video. I hope it was useful and see you next time.